she said she on top side. Who was that? But you know I don't really go outside. When the pressure come, it don't care if they it's outside. Yeah, spend all my time in the woods and the hills and the alpine. Cause I ain't trust what you doing is real. In time, you will show me things. But if the power is being exercised, you know, by the IMF and the World Bank, or by, you know, cool. And, and, by the, and by the way, just because the first question talks about accountability and the last one doesn't, doesn't mean that you can't talk about accountability in the last one if you don't want to. Like, if you want to, it's an important part of yeah. your... That's what I was going to ask as well, is if I can mention that. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think that's all my questions for now. Cool. All right. Yeah. All right, later. Yeah, definitely. I'll come tomorrow. Nice Thank one. You. All right. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, see you tomorrow then. Yeah. Take care. Cause I ain't trust what you're doing is real. In time, you will show me things for now. Starting to question what all this really about. We used to bunk it, now I hardly see you around. I don't have time for nobody who's bringing me down. This year, Patty Philippe, the shorty, no, I cannot fuck with no tic tac. I'm dripping, I'm sliding on several blocks. I don't want no tic tac. The defendant intended uh, and devised specific acts of negligence in order to succeed, provided the evidence supported some allegation of general negligence. Oh, yeah, this is Thursday, isn't it? I mean, I did. Slander is to do with transitory statements, so normally things that are said. Libel is to do with statements. Hello everyone. Currently making breakfast. Today is a Monday. I'm almost finished with my matcha. Matcha is so expensive as well. It's like ten pounds for a small fifty gram jar of matcha so, this week is my last week of classes um yeah this week is my last week of class so i my last week of like proper lectures and proper seminars and i'm i just had my last uh taught seminar today ow yeah i just had my last taught seminar today and low key, I'm kind of sad. <laughs> I never thought I'd say this, but I'm actually gonna not miss my online classes, but just it's kind of sad that it's coming to an end, if that makes sense. I still have probably like two months left of uni. But it, I don't have any classes, so I have two months just preparing basically for my exams. So my exams are in May. I just got the dates today. They're literally in six weeks time. And <sighs> I've just been caught up with assignments that I've completely forgotten that I actually have exams. So... For 
some reason I had thought that all my classes would go until May, <laughs> but they don't. I forgot that there's like a big gap between when my classes end and then when exams start. So I don't know what I'm gonna be doing until now on my exams. Obviously I'll be revising. I'm gonna put some vanilla extract. This is just me being extra right now. Vanilla extract in my matcha because I heard it makes it taste nice. like i think you can tell from my like videos that most of my days take up my uni classes like just preparing then i'm literally gonna be independently studying from now until my exam starts so also have a chocolate croissant breakfast This is the plant that I got like two weeks ago. But you can see it's growing. Yeah, I'm so happy that it's growing. Hopefully it grows nicely. I'm very excited to watch it grow. But um, yeah, this plant I got from a single cutting and now it is growing. And then as for this plant, my troublesome plant, it's looking a lot better than before. Like I watched some of my videos like months ago and it looked so bad. I didn't realize how bad it looked, but it looks a lot better now, mainly because I cut off all of these brown pieces. Still doesn't look the best, but I think it is a lot happier now than before. And like it's growing new growth as well here in the middle. So I'm excited for this to grow. I bought this at my uni plant sale, like Freshers week, they have like a plant sale. I heard like in the Philippines, they have these like outside all the time. It's from Hawaii, so very tropical. And obviously my <laughs> bedroom um, windowsill is not the same as the climate in Hawaii. So I'm pretty sure that's why it was not growing <laughs> and it was hating me. Also because I think I, I definitely overwatered it a couple times, but now I, understand how to water it now and the soil was not good so i changed the soil a bit you can see it's like a lot more well draining soil so i hope they do grow a lot in the summer because summer is like the growing season for plants so i'm sure they will be a lot happier in the summer i have been so obsessed with plants lately ever since i don't know why I've never been a plant person, but now I get it. Like, now I understand <laughs> where people's plant obsessions come from. Plants just make you so happy. Like, my plants just make me so happy. I read this thing on, I don't know where it was from, but someone said that plants taught them self-care, and I thought that was very deep, but true. So, I, I want to get more plants. Um, the issue is that I am a uni student, so I have to obviously move back and forth from my permanent home address and my uni address. So it's kind of annoying having to bring my plants to and from. So hopefully, maybe in the summer I can get more plants. I hope I can. But yeah, I've been so obsessed with plants. I've been watching and binging Plantarina videos on YouTube. She's like a plant person on YouTube and I could watch her videos. There's something about her videos that are so addicting. I just literally binge every single one. 
and after I feel like I've watched all of her videos, she still has so many other videos that I haven't watched, and I just watch them. And that's how I <laughs> learn how to not kill my plants, so. sitting really randomly on the um, at the park right now this is like a park that I used to go to when I was small and it's changed I haven't been here in so long and it's changed like a lot um, I wanted to sit down and just sit in the outdoors because I literally just sit in my desk all day but it's quite a nice day today there's a lot of people around, so it's nice. I've said in my previous videos how I've been reading this book and <laughs> this book is so good anyone who's ever thought about reading this book needs to read this but it's an amazing book uh, <laughs> I haven't even finished it and I love it so much already it's like I'm on chapter 19 right now and it's a little bit over halfway so I'm probably gonna finish it soon I don't really want to finish it because I don't want to stop reading it but at the same time I want to finish it so then I know what happens in the end and get my heart broken um, but yeah it's very heartwarming but it's also very heartbreaking at the same time so yeah basically an ancient Greek love story but the way it's written is so beautiful and it's so easy to read so yeah this book is amazing <laughs> Jeff, we need to do the rest. There's still some left. Yeah. Mm. 
Okay, try it, Josh. There's some lumps on it. Let me know. Oh, I'm sorry. How's it? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I don't like it. Yeah. Oh, it's quite warm. Oh. Ew. 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 <laughs> Can we try? I don't, I don't know what celery tastes like, so. It's nice though. But it's okay. It's, nice, it's drinkable. Wait, you try. It's healthy. You try. It's sweet. Mm. Uh, I just don't like the celery taste. Don't put the Ew. celery there next time. The celery is good for you. changing i think that also the law needs to be revised as we go along no it's true it is changing but so what is that inequity you think that doesn't fit with the modern world i mean uh catherine what do you think um i think with like <clears throat> your question of how it doesn't fit with like modern law is because i think lots of people want to make it more practical and like singular so that it applies to like commercial contexts. So that's why lots of like business people want to tame equity as they were saying in the lectures. Yeah. Daisy? Um yeah, yeah I was similar to Catherine. I was thinking about the Etherton. <laughs> Common lawyers themselves regarded what happened in the Chancery as this sort of magic. And in some ways, the Chancery barristers are saying, though, that equity is, in a sense, a magical jurisprudence. And what do I mean by that? I'm not saying it's a bit bizarre.
um, it's Wednesday today, Wednesday evening, and I'm just sitting at my desk about to submit my assignment. This is assignment number one of the three that I have this like coming week. Uh, this is for public and this is a module that I honestly really enjoyed because I, I personally found it interesting. So I really want to do well in this assignment. Um, but yeah, I really want to do well in this assignment. Oh my gosh, I keep blowing this candle out. I have this candle because I'm literally freezing cold. I've been editing it all day today. I finished writing it like a few days ago, but I kept editing a lot of stuff in it because I was trying to perfect everything and I'm really nervous about this assignment now because I this is probably the assignment I've probably put the most effort in and like the most work in in second year because this is 80% 80% of my mark for this module so 80% that is a lot two days but well, I was just so nervous I was like I really don't want to submit it in but I'm like glad that it's done with now yeah, like true. honestly my brain hurts because my topic was on algorithms like okay then I'm not gonna do that question I'll just do the first no. question then. the the what's it called the the question itself is by Worthington right yeah, but uh, everyone on the coach up is like, she's so vague, it's not straightforward at all, and stuff like that. He's my seminar leader for Man Law. And, um, oh, yeah, when this, you have him as well? No, 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 I remember. He's like the old guy. The old uh, guy. He's like American. He's not old, he's oh, like wow. in his 30s. Th there's a worksheet, but when you download it, it's basically the same thing what I just said. Um, and the idea that these, you know, they are conflicting because they're different. They are, there are tensions between them, okay? I prefer it if he's after, to be fair. Bro, I'll probably make it, okay, we can go from the club. No, we can't! <laughs> Like, I'm a nervous driver. Like, I'm actually scared of driving. Ready? 
dari bawah tuh Okay, so what's order? Um, I got my driver's license last week. Just like. <laughs> okay, stop from the picture. Okay, why can't I do this? Every Just like he always. <laughs> Maybe let's try a different song. <laughs> I don't think that's the point. But always there for me. No, I thought we need was, to get to the. I got red my driver's lights. license last week. It's like they always, always talked about driver's license last week. Just like we always talked about. Cause you were so excited for me. <laughs> Drive up. <laughs> Baby, I'm not even here. I'm a hallucination. Like we always talked about. <laughs> I was literally trying so hard not to laugh. You were so excited for me. <laughs> for me. <laughs> Do you, let's try and start. No. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'll start try and start again. Start from the top. Okay, yeah. Catherine, you start it, yeah? <laughs> I can't do this. And you're probably with that blonde girl who always made me doubt. She's so much older than me. She's everything I'm insecure about. And today I drove with the suburbs. Cause I'm gonna love someone else. And I just can't imagine how you could be so okay now that I know it. So I have just submitted my final assignment of second year and I'm I don't know how to feel. <laughs> um first of all, don't know how to feel about that assignment and don't know how to feel about submitting my last assignment in general. I don't think this has been my best assignment, but I'm not gonna jinx anything because obviously it hasn't even been marked yet, but equity, I've, I've always had problems with equity from the beginning, and this assignment, oh, I was extremely scared for this one because I know my seminar lead is probably gonna be marking it very harshly because uh, um, my exams are one, two, uh, a month away yesterday, so just under a month they start. So I'm just gonna be revising, revising, revising for all of those. So yeah, I'm just pretty happy now that all my assignments are done because assignments are, they were so stressful. And I can't believe I did three different assignments in the space of a whole week. And I was this close, this close, to getting an extension on top of my extension. Because my uni has provided us with like a, kind of like a blanket extension for all of our assignments this year. So, I was literally so tempted just to get another week extension on top of that but I've never applied for an extension before and that kind of is intimidating to me and I don't really know if I would be able to do that <laughs> because I don't can't really think of a reason other than um, I just want more time but 
yeah, hopefully they were all okay. Um... <laughs> really went to an Asian store and got Cheetos. <laughs> wow. Oh, damn. Nice. Nice, nice. Mission accomplished.